Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to work on fixing this wobbly noodle post. I have fixed this in the past from below and tightened it and apparently it has come loose. But I also noticed that it looks like it has split, which is probably where the bolt is attached in the bottom and that's why it's loose. I'm thinking we can detach it right here from where it's attached to the railing and glue the post back together and then attach it down below. Let's go down below and see how it's attached. So we're down in the basement and apparently this has been a problem before because this access panel was put in here to gain access to the bottom of that post. It has probably been here a while because it has flathead screws in it. Apparently this house was built in 1939. It's all sort of coming back to me now. I believe this chunk of wood is just shoved in this hole and the access to the bolt or the nut is up behind there. So let me see if I can get this out of here. there we have it. It's just a square head bolt up through the bottom of that newel post. So we will go on up top and see if we can figure out how we can take it apart. We'll take that bolt out and take the post out and try to glue it back together. So that's what's holding it. Now we can go up and see if we can take that whole post off. So there's one of those flat nails attaching these two right here. One of them is exposed and I think I can pull it out. There's one. The other one's pretty far in there. But with the whole bottom being loose, I'm gonna get a hammer and see if I can knock it up out. So there's more than one way. There's the gigantic crack, of course, right through the center of the hole, so no wonder it was coming loose. So we'll try to glue that shut and maybe go back and put two bolts in it. So this post is split where it is laminated together. It's about four pieces of wood glued up and turned. It's probably not super important that it's glued back together, but we'll try to force some glue down in that crack and then squeeze it together with a clamp. That crack runs pretty deep too, it's like halfway through.
just wipe that excess glue off. Let that cure for a while. Plus this is the back side against the steps. You won't see that anyway, but at least it'll be a little more solid. So while this, while this glue cures and glues these, glues up this crack, I went and found some hanger bolts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole, two pilot holes in probably these two pieces of wood right here and we'll sink these anchor hanger bolts in there, lag screwed on one side and then this will go down through the floor and then we can tighten up the nut from the bottom. We'll go ahead and do two of them so we're not real close to a joint in the wood like the other one was which allowed it to get really loose. I didn't help it anyway. So we'll mark it out and probably drill them about like that so we're in the center of a piece of wood and then we'll mark the same holes on the floor of the stairs and then we'll be able to drop them down through. So, a combination square. I'll run right to the edge and then right there, the nine is on the center of that hole. We can go about an inch away the eight. And we'll put one hole right there. Now based on where that is, the nine on this one will go we'll go about three quarters away from that center. We'll go right there. And that should put that hole close to the center of that piece of wood. According to Google, that should be a quarter inch pilot hole for that. We're going to start out with a much smaller bit to make the, make the pilot hole for it. I'm also going to use this combination square as a guide so the hole ends up somewhat straight. Now we'll switch the quarter inch bit. Those aren't perfectly straight, the world won't come to an end. So now, I just need to remember this is the back side, goes towards the steps. So the one that'll be towards the steps on the front is an inch from the center, and this other one is three quarters of an inch. Remember that. I should be able to double nut these together. <laughs> I'm not at home, so my tool selection is a little bit limited. I can take these two adjustables and lock those two nuts. Lock those two nuts together. 
Now I should be able to turn this outside one and this lag should start in there. I'm going to keep looking and try to find a socket and a ratchet to get that on there. Let's try this. So I've marked out the locations of the bolts they're going to pass through. And I've set the post down with the hanger bolts already installed. This one came out pretty close. This one's a little bit off, but in my experience, you can never get those things perfectly straight. So we'll just drill them a little offset and we should be good. Of course, that's the wrong size bit. Let me go find a 3 8 bit. And that'll be our pilot hole. Okay, and that's down through. We'll go down below and tighten them up. So here we are. These are the studs coming through. You can put a washer and a nut on there. Those are snug. Let's see what it looks like up there. I haven't really even tightened it down super hard, but that thing is rock solid. Leaving the clamp on there, let that glue cure up. Right, so we'll get a level. I likely even use that level. And see how we are if we need to tighten one side or the other in front to back, but that looks pretty good so far. see what it looks like upstairs okay so the post is pretty firm now we need to glue both pieces and then we'll put put these wedges back up in that slot
there's a slight gap in there, which it had before. It's flush on the top. I don't know if we'll ever get that gap out. I'll get a finish nail and we'll put down through that into that. And maybe that'll suck it together. So a couple days later, glue's dried and it's solid as a rock. So instead of one lag bolt, now there's two studs. Help support that load, make that a little sturdier. So the more I look at it, I guess this was part of the original stair stringer that they had to uh, had to, to break out of there when the initial problem arose. So we'll get that shoved back in there and get the access cover on and we'll be done.